you need to understand the circumstances. Like the idea that the military poses no threat to Buddhism or uh, that it's basically the same for the Buddhists, whether there's military or whether there's democracy, uh, is, uh, is a very uh, clear display of lack of knowledge about uh, history, um, about history in Myanmar, about history in Cambodia, and history in the other Buddhist countries as well. When people have nothing to put into their mouths, not only that they cannot put things to their mouths, but they also cannot support monks. And in our scriptures it's written that it, this is exactly the reason why the Buddha's teachings will disappear. It will disappear when the people have not enough food to eat and therefore they don't have enough food to support monks. Then, because monks are not well supported, they will not accept students. When they don't accept students, they will not teach students. And therefore, teaching will gradually disappear. This is exactly written in our Pali scriptures. So it's poverty in food, it's poverty in life, it's poverty in, uh, in education, and uh, people know it, people have ex uh, experienced it. With poverty in education, we are going back the same vicious cycle. There is poverty in food. Today, without education, without knowledge, how do you want to make good money? How do you, wa how do you want to be successful in business or in anything? Um, you know, in anything that makes a safe, uh, safe amount of money. So that's why the people don't like it. And that's why it's very important to study on the circumstances uh, of the environment that we are talking about. So what did Mengon Seado say? Mengon Seado said, I do not know anything about politics. I do not understand anything about politics. Therefore, I want to avoid saying anything about politics and therefore I am going to the forest and I will stay in silence. So Mengon Seado, not only that he didn't do anything with the present situation, not only that he uh, would just stop teaching, but he left. Basically, Myanmar lost the best, the most knowledgeable monk of all during the problem that has happened with Muta. So I think this is a beautiful example on what happens when there's the military role with Buddhism. When the military starts to apply their force, then Buddhism stops. It stops. It doesn't work. So uh, you certainly remember those years when there was a big problem in 2007. It was actually prohibited for foreigners to come into Myanmar. So Buddhism stopped. There is no space for monks to give Tama talks to people uh, to teach Tama to do big things. Uh, like uh, establish meditation centers and so on, when the military is applying their, uh, their force against the hungry people who don't like to be hungry. So the idea that Buddhism could thrive when the military is here is uh, not working at all because when the military is applying their, their so-called abilities, uh, Buddhism basically disappears for that period.